So there she is, that's uh, Mount Kinabalu. You can still see she's in the shadows. So that's the, uh, the summit there, where my fingers would be, it would be up in there. And then to the right we've got what I class as Paramount Mountain. It looks like the, uh, the mountain from the beginning of uh, Indiana Jones, eh? Uh, Razor Lost Ark. Um, but yeah, that's the mountain. That's Mount, Mount Kinabalu. She looks beautiful today, even though we can't see the peak. She looks nice, eh? With the cloud. Look at that. Fantastic. So I've just come up, um, up to the top of the old palm plantation again, and uh, hard today. Although yesterday, or no, sorry, the day before, I took yesterday as a rest day, and the day before I did this, uh, came up to the top, uh, hit the summit the fastest time ever, and that was uh, 30, 37, yeah, yeah, 37 minutes point nine today I did it in 38.49 so a bit slower although it is hotter today whereas the other day it was it was raining so I, I found that I could breathe a lot easier you know the sun's not beating down on you and you just you know you sort of you bang it out you know um, but today yeah I, and I, I smoked a few cigarettes this morning, which I shouldn't have done, it's going to kill me. Well, that's if that's if the universe doesn't end on the 28th, eh? Or the yeah, or there's a new universe, or there's a second sun, or planet X doesn't come in, or um, you know, basically we wink out of existence or whatever. So either way, I mean, even if the universe does cease to exist, I still know I've got. A, give up smoking or at least cut down <laughs> anyway so look at that that is that's a nice that's a nice sight I'm a bit bollocks like I say my lungs are hurting but it's worth it I mean look at that I was lying here today and how do I put it there's something that's holding me back I just you know how you lie there and you just your eyes are shut and you just feel like you want to just wink out of existence like you just want to shut down completely you know you like you can't move it's as if there's a power over you you know you've got no it really is as if your life force is gone and that's how I felt just before I came and I forced myself I forced myself to get up put this equipment on and just make the effort and I, I'm here now but I felt like my life force was gone it's a terrible feeling that. it might be lack of right foods lack of water although I've been drinking today or it might be something else maybe it's electromagnetic pulses maybe there's something sent out maybe there's spirits sucking my life force you know like vampires I don't know but I forced myself forced myself up and I made it and here I am you know here I am and there's swallows flying around do you remember the swallows in the Amazons I watched that the other day I found it on the net swallows and Amazons by Arthur C. Ransom was that Arthur Ransom yeah Arthur C. Arthur C. Clarke, isn't it? Arthur Ransom. There you go. Swallows and Amazon. Fuck, that brought back some memories. It was all about camping out, you know, and exploring. You know, when there was still an, an element of innocence about you. Yeah. Um... 
Yeah. So what am I trying to say? I suppose I'm trying to say that... Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I don't know what they think, really. It's as if there's nothing to... Nothing to explore anymore. I mean, there's, you know, here on Earth, I just know it's all bullshit. It's all controlled by <sighs> these powers that be, powers that are above me. Uh, at least they think so, or that's what we're told. And this God entity, I mean, what's going on with this God entity? What's the point of allowing, you know, if the if the demonic forces are coming back into the world, and if Adam Vysap and his little minion bloke who got taken out by lightning, and then the, the papers that they found stating, and this was what, Albert Pike? Some, I think it was Albert Pike, and he was talking about how the First World War would, would be implemented in the Second World War. And then the Third World War to implement a one world government, basically, or one world controllability. I mean, what's all that about, really? You know, is, is it that we're here on Earth and actually, you know, because there are, how do I put it, endless amounts of, um, let's get another background. There are infinite or finite number of different realities, yeah? So if there, is there infinite or finite? I don't know. But if there's all these realities, yeah? Okay, and we've got all these realities. What is it? What is it about Earth and us as human beings? And are we really ruled over by possible extraterrestrial extraterrestrial or alien entities or they demonic entities I think it's a combination of all of those put together I kind of feel like if if it is an infinite universe if anything that could possibly be thought of exists then it all exists at the same time which means all the answers are there which means somehow as the individual taking part in this holographic reality. All you've got to do is just keep the faith. And when I talk about the faith, I, I talk about not religious. I just think you've just got to keep the faith in that there's a purpose to all this. That... Uh, that whatever God entity it is that has control over everything, everything, every possible thing you could possibly think of, whatever this is all about, because I haven't got a fucking Scooby-Doo, I know that much, that there's got to be some kind of purpose to it. And so when they talk about death, I mean, there's death in this reality. But then does that just continue on? So possibly, maybe you die, but you don't realise you die. Maybe you die, and then you just continue on. So maybe those times I've been shot at and blown up and nearly drowned in fucking water and all that sort of business, and overcome disease and, and this, that and the other. Maybe I did die at those times, yeah? Maybe that car crash I had, maybe that, you know, maybe all those scenarios, at those points, I died. You know, that was me. I was Habis. And in an alternate reality, you know, there was, at that time, people mourned you. And, and then that alternate reality continues on without you part of it. And so it continues on. So maybe what happens to us all? no matter who you are, because energy is infinite, what we're told is energy is infinite, this 
whatever it is, just continues on this essence. What you do is you just continue on from that point. So where you thought or where you were supposed to die in one alternative, you continue on. And that allows you to then learn everything you need to learn before you end up coming to the, coming to the end, as it were. And then maybe when you do come to an end, after having learned everything you've learned in this section of being a human being with five fingers and and all that sort of business. Then you move on to another <coughs> tasking, another mission, and it's on a an alternate universe or an alternate you know reality where you're a, you're with the Palladians or you're with the um, Golga Frinchams or, or whatever, you know you're some other element. So this is all about learning. This is all about just learning. I don't know. Does that sound really screwed up? Probably. Probably. Interesting though, isn't it? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, look, she's almost showing her peak. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, check that out. Now, you notice it's white. It's got like, what you see is, there's almost white shears on it. And that was due to the, uh, apparently, that was due to the earthquake we just had. I was in uh, KK City at the time, and um, I was in a large building, and the earthquake came in, and I felt it sort of roll. It was like a... It was like a wave, you know, that's what it was like. And the, it's as if the building sort of waved like that. It was weird. Luckily, the building didn't collapse. Maybe it did. Maybe in another reality, I was in that building and it all collapsed down on me. And that was me, Habis. And, um, and in that reality, other people, they dug my body out later on or whatever. You see what I mean? You see what I mean by like those points where you, you probably, you did die. And that was another alternate reality. Do you get me? You probably don't, do you? You might do. Do I get myself? <laughs> but apparently, what happened was, when we had that major earthquake here, a lot of the, um, a lot of the mountainside broke away. And it's given that whitish uh, tinge to the, uh, to the mountain itself. Yeah, and obviously you might be aware, but one of the peaks came off. So there were two, like the, there were like horns on the uh, on the tip of the mountain, and one of those horns broke away. Unfortunately, never be the same. You know what I mean? And how many? I wonder how many millions, if not billions, of years that mountain has been there. And who knows? You know the days of Noah. Yeah. I mean, they, they say we're in the days of Noah again, or it, was, it will be like the days of Noah. They say, um, I wonder if, I wonder if there was water all the way over this. I wonder if, I wonder how high that water was. What kind of beings were swimming around in that water, you know? And Paramount Mountain, I mean, I, I don't know the name of that tip of, the, uh, the peak there, but it, to me, it's every time I see it, it reminds me of the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, you've got the bloody Paramount Pyramid going back to the pyramid. You know, what are we doing with pyramids? Well, that gives you the answer, doesn't it? Realistically, the beings or the controlling powers on this earth have always had something to do with pyramids and, and one eye, eh? You know, the eye of Horus or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, sometimes you wake up and you go, well, is this real? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing Paramount Mountain every, every friggin' morning. You know, or every day I, I run up here. It's strange, eh? You see how peaceful it is here? 
you see the birds flying around? They're swallows, I think. Hence the essence of swallows and Amazons. And I, as I was running up here, I saw a king cobra as well. Big king cobra. And as I came around the corner, you know, as I'm running up, and uh, this big king cobra just whacked away. I was too tired to run after it, or you know, I'm not going to mess around with it too too much. You don't mess around with king cobras realistically, but yeah, it was lovely to see. Huge king cobra. I bet there's some big, you know, cobras around here. Peaceful. You know, I could be down in East End of London, giving it big licks, you know what I mean? And all that noise, and all those people's minds that are gila gila, you know what I mean? Well, that's a little bit cloudy. Hang on a second. Let me just... Ah, oh. oh, that's cloud inside, mate. That's not good. Oh, oh we're going to have to fix that one up then. Well, hopefully... Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, you can see what needs to be seen. Well, okay, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do a bit of meditation, I think. But, there you go. The mountain, Mount Kinabalu. What do they call it? The land below... below the wind? Whew. I don't know. Rain's not working today at all, is it, eh? Anyway, best of luck to you. I'll leave you to it. God bless.